bonne. Okay, thank you, Francois, for the introduction. Thanks to the, the organizer for this, uh, confer uh, this uh, workshop and for the opportunity to speak. Um, so I want to uh, present uh, geometric recursion for uh, uh, combinatorial optimal spaces uh, in the continuation of uh, Alessandro's talk. So it's a uh, joint work with uh, Jorin Anderson, Gaetan Boro, uh, Alessandro Giacchetto, Danilo Lewanski, and uh, Campbell Wheeler. And uh, the article is still in preparation. We hope to release it soon. Um, so uh, uh, here is the plan uh, the, uh, for uh, for this uh, talk. So first, I will uh, present uh, uh, the setup of uh, GR for uh, the combinatorial touch mirror space. And second, uh, uh, from uh, uh, geometric recursion to uh, t how we can obtain some topological recursion formula. And uh, third, uh, how we can obtain also a discrete topological recursion formula for thanks to the integral structure of the moduli space. So here are some notations for the talk. For uh, of course, uh, GR is not for general rel relativity, but for geometric recursion, and uh, topology and TR is for uh, topological recursion. Uh, sigma will be a border surface of type GN, and uh, I exclude the pair of points on the one all torus, so it's a, it's a stable uh, uh, surface of other characteristic uh, less than uh, minus two, and uh, with uh, labeled the boundary components. Uh, the P will denote a pair of pumps, and T will denote a one whole to torus. Right. And also, <laughs> the notation introduced by Jorn this morning, uh, x plus is, the, uh, is equal to x if uh, x is positive and 0 otherwise. So uh, this talk will, uh, will be uh, 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 based on uh, Alessandro's talk and uh, Jorn's talk. So thanks to both of them for making so, uh, so great talks. Uh, so first. Let me speak about uh, uh, GR for the combinatorial Teshmal space, and uh, actually it's, it will be really similar to the uh, to the to GR for the the, the ordinary Teshmal space. So it will uh, it's really similar to uh, Jorgen uh, 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 talk. So in the, G the GR paper of uh, Anderson uh, uh, Boro. On Oratan, uh, I put the archive uh, reference here uh, zero four seven two nine. So uh, uh, the uh, the authors uh, present um, uh, the principle of uh, geometric uh, recursion. So the the aim is to construct a functor as uh, with the the notations of uh, Yon uh, E from uh, with his notations. Uh, the category of uh, border surfaces to a category of topologi topological uh, vector spaces, V. Uh, this is a V, not a U. <laughs> and uh, uh, the aim is to construct uh, functorial assignments recursively. Assignments. So recursively. To uh, so that uh, from uh, to uh, uh, border surface sigma, we associate um, a GR amplitude, which belongs to E sigma. And in our uh, setup, we will uh, instead of uh, using omega, we we'll, uh, we we'll just use the letter xi. Well, sorry for this uh, this change. Rest is always the category of surfaces. Yeah, about the, uh, so yeah, exactly. Okay. Uh, like this morning talk. Right. And uh, the basically, the, the two ingredients to construct uh, the two main ingredients to co to construct uh, a GR is uh, first to have a, a target uh, the a, a target theory. So E si sigma satisfies satisfy <coughs> um, the axioms of uh, target theory, and once we have the, uh, those actions uh, are satisfied, uh, we need uh, admissible initial data with those uh, tremendous admissibility condition that we saw uh, this morning. Initial, so A, B, C, D. So I will explain here. GR 
for Ticom, so it's the same type of. So we define E sigma. So for this talk, but actually we can generalize it to a measurable function. We, we, we look at the uh, continuous function and the uh, combinatorial Tashmal space that was described by Alexander. So, uh, yes. Okay. So, first, uh, E sigma. I don't under, uh, the enter the detail, but E sigma satisfied the. Is for functions? I mean, the continuous functions. Okay. Uh, can you read? Yeah, my handwriting. Okay. Uh, so, uh, E sigma satisfies uh, the, the, the all the uh, the E sigma uh, satisfy the uh, axioms of uh, pre-target theory. So uh, basically, it's for the same reason as for, as for the Teshmer space. So I really don't want to enter the, the detail here. So uh, uh, the axioms of uh, pre-target theory. And we saw this morning that on top of this, uh, it should satisfy some other actions. So for instance, uh, the uh, the notion of uh, disjoint union of uh, uh, of surfaces, and uh, also, which is more involved here, the notion of uh, gluing of two uh, two surfaces, uh, how to glue two uh, combinatorial embedded combinatorial, combinatorial graph, and instead of dip of uh, defining a gluing here, we just need uh, a notion of cutting actually. So the notion of cutting was given by uh, Alessandro. Uh, uh, was described by Alessandro in the previous talk. So, if gamma is a simple uh, essential, essential simple, simple closed curve on a sigma, essential simple closed curve, um, then we can define from an embedded graph, we can define, always define the cutting along uh, gamma. So this is the, the important notion here for uh, defining GR. Uh, it so this is the first action that it, it satisfies on top of uh, a predicate uh, theory. And so, uh, another, another one that we should emphasize is that we have also the notion of uh, Length of simple closed curve of, uh, of uh, yes of a simple closed curve. So if so now gamma can be homotopic to the boundary component. Um, then the notion, as Alessandro told us, of uh, combinatorial combinatorial length of gamma is defined. So this is also. Uh, Okay, and um, the third one is that we uh, we saw uh, Jorn uh, told us that we should have the poly polynomial growth uh, uh, axiom. So Polynomial, uh, polynomial growth axiom, axiom. and actually it's, uh, it's a theorem. Uh, well, a pro I would say a proposition. We have to we have proven the following. So the number simple plus curve such that the combinatorial lengths of gamma. Is smaller than L, <coughs> so this is on the actually on for um, G belongs to the combinatorial Tashmer space. Actually, a system set of the combinatorial Tashmer space. Well, uh, just to define the the constant, it's smaller than m epsilon times L to the six G. Minus six 
plus 2n. So here, uh, to fit with the notations of uh, Jorn this morning, this is d epsilon sigma. So he used uh, di sigma. And here, our, uh, our index set is uh, epsilon. Uh, it's a number. OK. So uh, actually, we have uh, so all, all this uh, show that E sigma is actually a, a valid uh, target theory. Well, the data of all the E sigma is a valid uh, uh, target theory. So uh, now the, uh, that we have a target th uh, theory, we should uh, construct the assignments of the so to a border surface. How to construct uh, ampli a GR on amplitudes? So the functorial assignments. And for this, we need first initial data to initiate the recursion. Definition. Um, the initial data A, B, C. So it's the data of uh, uh, four uh, objects A, B, C, D that I described. Uh, are uh, four objects uh, such that uh, so A, B, C belong to continuous functions on the combinatorial Teshmer space of pairs of points. And D is also a continuous function, but on the combinatorial Teshmer space of the one-null torus. And it should uh, be functorial in the sense that it should be mapping mapping class group invariant. So uh, it's mapping class group invariant for the one-null torus. So we impose this. And we also impose that, this was also given in your uh, talk uh, this morning, that actually <coughs> A and C uh, satisfy this uh, symmetry condition. A, L1, L2, L3 is equal to A, L1, L3, L2. Yes, because the combinatorial <coughs> Teshmer space of the pair of points is just uh, R plus to th R plus to the 3. Right, so we can as just function of on the R plus 2 the And also the same relation stand for C. For C. So we will just permute the, 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 uh, the last two arguments. A, B, and C don't need to be MCG invariant. What? Uh, and B. A, B, C are not M mapping class group invariant. Well, for the pair of points, it's, uh, ah, it's okay. right, right, right. So uh, here's the definition. Uh, and now that we have the, this initial data, we can uh, associate the uh, amplitude, GR amplitudes. So first, so uh, those are the, the, the GR amplitudes. So for the the pair of points, the function uh, 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 xi, uh, xi p of g is just a of the combinatorial, uh, combinatorial length of the boundaries of P. So this is for the the initial data. And for the uh, the one old torus, it's just D. <coughs> well, I'll not it uh, DT. So dt on the g. I will need this later. So. Now for a uh, uh, distant union, how do we define the xi for a distant union of uh, surfaces? So. If we take the disjoint union of sigma 1, union sigma k of an embedded uh, graph on sigma 1, g1 up to gk, 
it uh, it will be, uh, just be the product of the of the functions the amplitudes uh, sigma okay and now uh, how to construct uh, recursively the uh, the amplitudes so the uh, the amplitudes are constructed recursively via the GR formula. So uh, let a bit of space uh, above and if you take notes, of course. The same formula as uh, Jorgen uh, uh, showed uh, this morning. So it's the sum over m equal to 2 to n, uh, sum over embedded pair of plans. Uh, yeah. So this is the b uh, in, uh, from the initial data times the amplitude on the cut surface well, when once we have uh, removed the embedded performance. So this is for the B part and for the C part. So there is a one half actually here. So it's better with drawings. So diagrammatically, how can we uh, see this? So this is just a sum from n equal to two n of this kind of cut, uh, cutting out of a pair of bonds. So this is the first boundary. This is the nth boundary, nth, uh, yeah, nth boundary, and then the rest of the surface. So here is the, the second. We remove the nth boundary here. And, and so this is of type uh, G on n, n minus 1. Okay. And here we have two uh, subcases for the C uh, for the C part. Uh, we have the so either the cut surface remains connected. And so this is of type uh, G minus 1, N plus 1. Or it's, uh, it's disconnected. Uh, I'm sorry if it's uh, really low. Uh, let me put it uh, on the right hand side. So this is the second case. Okay, sorry. one here you have a j here j prime and this is of type h uh, <coughs> one plus j and this is of, of type h prime h prime one plus j prime so with the condition that h plus h prime should be equal to g and the union the disjoint union of j on uh, j prime should give you a two at uh, the set two uh, n <coughs> okay so but uh, so this is the formula that we call the gr formula. But the thing is that uh, all th uh, those sums are, c are, uh, are actually countable sums. They are not finite sums. So there could be problems of uh, convergence. So this means uh, this is why we, uh, we need uh, some admissibility conditions for the initial data. So I give you the, the, the definition, not the whole definition of initial data, because it's quite long to write. Um, Basically, we saw them in uh, Jorgen's talk uh, this morning, but I w just want to write it for uh, the B uh, <coughs> function. 
so the definition. So in case you take, again, notes, uh, sorry, uh, leave a, a bit of space, uh, I will tell you where, is, on here, let, let a bit of space, uh, admissible. So uh, I don't give the, the whole uh, admissibility conditions, and I refer you b better to the, uh, the paper of uh, understand uh, Borrow and Orantin to the page uh, 40 43, but for uh, I will just uh, tell you uh, the, the admissibility condition for uh, B. If uh, uh, for all uh, epsilon, there, exi there exists T such that for all S, there exists, uh, there exists uh, yeah, M that depends on epsilon on S for which so sup L1 L2 L epsilon uh, the absolute value of L1 L2 L times um, so again so this is L two plus. <coughs> so with the notation I recalled you uh, over one plus L one, one plus L two to the T is smaller than M epsilon S. Okay, this is admissi admissibility uh, admissible uh, uh, initial data. And the fact is that uh, with those, uh, with this admissibility uh, condition, actually, we have the, the following theorem. Um, yeah, I will let me put it here. Theorem. Right. Okay. Um, if A, B, C, D are admissible, then we have the, f uh, the following two uh, points. First, the formula GR that is here is well defined. And second, the functorial, the well, the assignments sigma to psi sigma, so the amplitude uh, psi sigma, is functorial, uh, this uh, which means in particular here that uh, the, the assignment, uh, the psi sigma are a mapping class group invariants. Mm. Here, mapping class group invariant. So, Really, a small word on the proof. I, I don't want to enter the detail because actually the proof is really parallel to the one uh, of um, uh, Anderson, Borrow, and Orantin. Uh, so the ingredients are the following: we use the polynomial uh, polynomial growth uh, action uh, axiom, and we use also the of, of course the admissibility uh, condition to be able to to carry out the sum and give some upper bounds on the sums. So actually, the, the proof is done by induction using this formula. And we prove that at each step, it's uh, well defined. And for the, fun the fact that it's functorial, actually, uh, it comes from the fact that when you act with the mapping class group on sigma, actually, it's, uh, it's it amounts just to permute some terms here in the on the right hand side. So actually, the, uh, the functions are uh, mapping class group invariants. So this is for. Uh, uh, for the GR. So now we have uh, the setup for once we have admissible uh, admissibility admissible initial data. There, there are plenty of those. We can construct uh, functions, but uh, it doesn't mean that those functions are meaningful, right? It's like a running TR for uh, any spectral curve. We don't get any. Uh, uh, it's sometimes they are interesting. Uh, often we, we have interesting uh, invariants, but it can be that it's. Uh, it's not uh, interesting. So I want to give you an example where it's uh, actually interesting. And it's, uh, as said uh, Alessandro in the previous talk, uh, it's 
the reactive to Mirzahani machine. Um, okay, I will put it here. So we have B, uh, combinatorial uh, Mirzahani. McShane uh, identity. Um, yeah. So first, I just uh, dropped the definition of uh, the initial data that we saw also uh, this morning. We said uh, we saw everything this morning. Actually, so definition. We define A K. So K stands not for Kobe Bryant but for uh, Konsevich, of course. Uh, I can L1, L2, L3. So it's the function 1. BK, L1, L2, L is 1 over 2 L1 times L1 minus L2 minus L plus uh, minus L2 minus L1 minus L plus uh, plus uh, L1 plus L2 minus L plus. So the B uh, function is the most involved like in the definition. CK is L1 of L1 L, L prime is just 1 over L1 L1 minus L minus L prime plus and DK of a combinatorial uh, uh, graph is just uh, the function 1, which is a ma mapping class group invariant, as uh, uh, Jorgen said also this morning. OK. So we uh, first, we check that uh, this, this initial data are admissible with uh, our definition. So just uh, check it for a BK. So actually, uh, if you want to have an upper bound on BK, it's actu actually it's always smaller than 1. Okay. So this we can give an upper bound which is uh, sm uh, just smaller than one. Uh, net, uh, next we can just choose uh, t equal to zero. Okay, it doesn't uh, it doesn't matter. And uh, uh, the the potentially uh, problematic case is here. Uh, but uh, w you see that when this is zero, well uh, th there is no problem. But uh, uh, this part is zero, there is no problem. But when this part is not zero, actually it's, it's exactly the um, the, pl the locus where this uh, the b is equal to zero. So when this not this is not equal to one, actually b is equal to zero. So actually we have for this case we have m epsilon sigma uh, epsilon s is actually one all the time, and you can choose uh, t equal to zero. So actually uh, this uh, initial those in these initial data are uh, admissible. So a k b k t k DK are admissible. So we can run, run TR, uh, GR. But what does it produce? We, don't, we still don't know. Right. And uh, to know what it produces, uh, we, uh, you usually need uh, more work. And we, uh, we need uh, the, the following theorem that we proved, which is actually the combinatorial Mirzarani machine. Uh, uh, so it's admissible, and so it produces functions that are uh, that we call uh, xik. So the theorem is combinatorial Mirzani machine identity. And uh, it is the following: it's just that th the function one can be rewritten as a sum over m equal to to n sum over embedded power points pm sigma of b k uh, l uh, well evaluated uh, evaluated at uh, g actually plus Sum over open pair of pants of this 
tag uh, C. I always forget the one half here. Okay, so actually we have this partition of uh, Unity, which is the, Mirza, the combinatorial Mirza Animax chain. Right. So uh, I may. Uh, uh, I don't think I will have time to speak about the proof in the end. Uh, indeed, if I had some more time to speak about the proof of this combinatorial uh, machine, but actually, uh, the idea, the general idea, is really similar to the idea of uh, Mirzarani uh, to prove this uh, identity in the hyperbolic uh, world. Except that, for in our case, it's way easier, easier but because uh, we don't have to deal with uh, hyperbolic uh, geometry. So we still use the instead of shooting geodesics, we we uh, we shoot uh, sing, uh, singular. Um, sorry, uh, we don't shoot singular leaves, but we sh uh, we shoot uh, regular leaves of the defoliation, and uh, basically we can decompose the function one into uh, this uh, sum of uh, an over a pair of points. So. What is the what what is uh, the this term uh, about in our setup? It just uh, means that ac actually our xi, uh, xi k are just the <coughs> function one, right? Right. So we produce by, reco uh, by recursion the function one, which is a rather integrate intricate way to produce the function one. So corollary xi k sigma is equal to 1. So actually, well, in for our example that uh, uh, I will keep uh, for the whole talk, our amplitudes are just the function 1. OK, so let me go to the second part from GR to TR. So the thing is that uh, from the, the theorem Oh, uh, that uh, GR is well defined uh, in our case. The Xi uh, sigma are, are uh, map mapping cl class group invariance. So, our so they can descend to functions on the combinator on the combinator combinatorial modular space. We can define psi g n, where g and n, uh, g n is the type of sigma. I recall. Uh, so that are continuous function on uh, m g n com. So now there is a natural object that we we can uh, we want to uh, to study is v psi g n. Of L, so we fix uh, some strata, uh, some stratum of um, for the perimeters. Uh, so we fix all the perimeters to be L one up to L n. Is the integral over M G n comb L of our function psi G n against the Konsevich uh, volume form that Alessandro. Uh, uh, described also in the last talk. But uh, here there are two questions that we can ask. First, is it defined? Like, uh, can we actually integrate? Or should we impose some other conditions on the, on the initial data? And the second one is, uh, do we get a recursion, uh, a recurs a recursion uh, for the VXI GN? So the answer is that, uh, well, I give the answer. Uh, and here, I come back here. So this is my A, TR. And uh, we define ABCD to be strongly admissible. So I, I add strongly. If now we, we have to drop the dependence on, the de the dependence on epsilon. Okay, but we have to add some other parameter eta. So there exists eta between 0, 2, and 2 is open, such that uh, this is uh, 
uh, again uh, true, but uh, here the, the dependence on epsilon should also drop. Here the, su the superorum, we, we don't need it. Okay. And here, actually, we need to the eta. So we need to impose this condition of uh, so, so basically, when L is small, we have to, to have this kind of, uh, of, uh, of uh, again, of condition. So if you want the detailed, uh, strongly admissi uh, admissibility condition, I refer to you to the page 45 of the paper of Anderson Bohr and Arta. And now, the theorem is that if ABCD is are strongly admissible, Added strongly, then <coughs> then we can answer to the two questions I asked. Uh, so, xi g n the xi g n's are uh, integrable against. Uh, the conservation measure, uh, measure uh, volume four, and the second point is that uh, actually, v xi. This is not a surprise because it's the title of the of the part. Right. Uh, xi gn uh, satisfy the topological recursion. Well, in the in the way uh, Jorgen uh, 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 showed it, so. To recover, uh, to recover the usual topological recursion, you have to carry out uh, several uh, Laplace transforms. So I, I read the, the formula. Uh, I want to keep the formula afterwards. So um, okay. I want to keep this also. Let me write it here. The, the formula is the following. We saw it this morning also. G N L is so. Here we have th three uh, three terms. M equal to to N of the integral over R plus D L L B uh, L one. N minus one L and two L and then we have two other terms, so plus one half uh, of DL DL prime fits over R plus R plus L L prime times C L one L prime times v sorry, g minus 1 n plus 1 l l prime n2 ln plus the same sum I was writing Terms of the sum uh, correspond to, to the three diagrams I was, uh, was uh, the three pictures I was uh, drawing there, around there. Yes, and uh, so okay, so this is the TR formula. Uh, TR. Uh, just a word uh, about the proof. So of course, to to prove this formula, we use uh, we strongly use the GR uh, uh, recursive uh, formula. So 
we use GR uh, formula. And also we have to to uh, use uh, two additional ingredients that are first the fact that we have strongly admissible uh, initial data and second which is the most important is uh, the integration lemma that uh, um, Alessandro was talking about in uh, in the end of his talk and so uh, strong admissibility and uh, uh, integration lemma and actually, so I will give you an example of a computation. Actually, the integration lemma states that the for combinatorial uh, GR, the Konsevich volume form is adapted to, to this recursion. So actually, we can disintegrate the, volu the volume form. So uh, how does it go? For, for example, we, we want to carry out this uh, integration. M uh, G N com L. And uh, so for the V terms, for example, so alpha plus group sigma gamma B L1 L2 L alpha So actually, we want to to integrate this uh, this kind of, uh, those kind of uh, of sums, and the integration lemma just tells us that we can decompose this uh, integration uh, as the in the following way. So it's the integral now over R plus of dl of b l one l two l uh, times uh, the integration. Uh, for, uh, mg n <coughs> minus 1 l comb d mu k. Okay, so we can basically uh, increase the error char characteristic in the uh, integration, and this is just v psi g n minus 1. Okay. And uh, here, why do we have to impose the strong admissibility uh, condition? Is that here, uh, if for small l, uh, b is uh, diverging, right? But uh, with a uh, 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 with a this scale of uh, eta, yeah, then the integral are ah, here. Sorry, it's l times b. The integral of uh, b times l uh, is dominated by uh, l uh, eta minus one, right? And uh, it's uh, integrable if uh, eta is uh, s smaller than two. So that's why we have to impose this kind of uh, admissibility, uh, admissibility, strong admissibility conditions. Okay. Uh, so this is for the for TR. So what does it mean in our example? So what is the result? So maybe we have an int with the title of the of this section. So we can con conjecture on the Konsevich theorem. So we, I will just write it with an Konsevich theorem. So we keep our initial favorite uh, initial data. So we know that uh, the xi uh, k sigma are equal to 1. But now, actually, a k, b k, c k, d k are strongly admissible, uh, actually. Well, you can just choose uh, eta to be equal to zero. Um, you, you can see that uh, AK, uh, BK, CK, DK are strongly admissible. This is the same initial data you use for the Mizrakani exchange. Exactly. exactly. So, um, uh, the, so they are strongly ad admissible. So we can apply. Uh, so uh, the V <coughs> CK <coughs> uh, GN are well defined and they are um, uh, they satisfy uh, topological recur recursion satisfy TR and now uh, what does it mean 
This means that <coughs> N G N comb L the factory one D mu K. So this those uh, volumes uh, satisfy TR, right? But those volumes are precisely the Concevich volume that were introduced uh, in the last talk. So they satisfy TR. In other words, as a corollary, we have the we can prove by uh, we uh, we prove that uh, uh, we have another proof uh, again of a uh, Witten conjecture, and uh, so two two two. Yeah, we'll put it uh, here. Corollary. Uh, well, uh, we uh, conserve the theorem, right? Okay. And actually, our proof, if you look back to the fir the first drawing of the first uh, uh, drawing of um, the first board of Alessandro, there was uh, some some drawing here. And actually, our proof uh, uh, is completely parallel to uh, Mirzarani's proof, but for us, it's just in the combinatorial world. And the Mirzarani's proof was in uh, the uh, in the hyperbolic uh, uh, world, but we use exactly the same step on the uh, well, same uh, same arguments. Uh, so uh, that's it for uh, for TR. So let's turn to uh, to um, uh, discrete TR. How, how much time I have, uh, François? Uh, so ten minutes. Ten minutes. Okay. So a good thing with uh, the combinat combinatorial uh, uh, modular space is that we have the notion of integral, uh, 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 natural notion of integral structure. Uh, sorry. Yes, here. Um, so what's the integral structure on uh, the combinatorial, combinatorial decimal space, uh, modular space? Sorry. Definition. So we define M G. Well, <coughs> it was already defined before, but the integral, <coughs> the lattice points of the combinatorial uh, uh, moduli space is just a subset of the combinatorial uh, moduli space, such that all the uh, the, the metric ribbon graph we consider they all have uh, integral uh, uh, lengths for the edges. Just the edges of G, so a, a class of uh, a metric ribbon graph, uh, have uh, integral lengths. Just a quick remark. sum over the parameters Li, it's equal to the sum over the edges of the, of the uh, metric ribbon graph of twice the uh, length of the edges. So this means that if all the lengths of the edges are, are uh, integers, this uh, should be, uh, uh, this, uh, this should be uh, uh, even. So this means that, in particular, MGN comb Z of L is just the empty, uh, is just empty if uh, this uh, condition is not sat satisfied. Uh, 
is odd. So this leads us to, to the notation, the following notation. Notation. So for f, a function from r plus to the n to r, we define f bullet of l, so l is a vector in r plus n to the n, to be either equal to f of l, if the l are all integers, and uh, the sum is uh, even, and zero otherwise. we can define the following uh, counting function. So now n psi g n l is just the sum over g, the, so the metric ribbon graphs in the combinatorial integral points of the combinatorial med uh, modular space of the amplitudes psi g n over the uh, the order of the automism uh, the, the cardinal of the automorphism group of uh, G. And the question is that is there any recurs uh, recursion for uh, n psi G n? And actually there is. So uh, uh, yeah, we'll just keep this. I don't need the C and D. So I just keep this. OK, so we need uh, something like uh, a discrete uh, TR. So definition. B and C are, the, are supported on small pairs of points. Are supported on small pairs of points if L greater than L1 plus L2 implies that B, L1, L2, L is equal to 0 on L plus L prime greater than L1 implies C L1 L L prime is equal to 0. OK. So now the theorem is that, uh, that we have is that if A, B, C, D are admissible, so that, so that uh, the GR is uh, well defined, And supported as on small pairs of points. On small <coughs> pairs of points. Sorry for all the abbreviations. It's the end of the, the talk. Uh, then, actually, uh, the n psi g n satisfy uh, discrete topological recursion that I write here. So you replace basically all the integral by sums on all the v. By n. So n, here it's a sum over L greater than 1. Here is a sum over L, L prime greater than 1. And n, n, n. And also you have to impose uh, these conditions here for, uh, uh, for the modular space not to be empty. So here you have to impose that. Uh, you, you have to uh, use basically uh, b bullet and c bullet. <laughs> okay, so the, this is the, the theorem we get. So this, this is a discrete TR. So what the, does it give uh, for, uh, in our favorite example? Uh, just a word uh, for the proof. Why do we impose uh, small pairs of points? It's because like, for a big pair of points, we have problems uh, gluing um, uh, the combinatorial structures because actually the, the twist where it's not defined, the gluing, it's not uh, anymore of measure zero for the discrete uh, count. Uh, so B. 
Uh, so uh, we we obtain Norbury's theorem, <laughs> which means that for our initial data, actually it's supported also on small pairs of points. Right? If L is uh, greater than L1 plus L2, all the terms here are just zero. Right? And it's the same for C. Okay. So LK, BK, CK, BK <coughs> are valid for, uh, for discrete TR. But what does it mean for uh, in our case? Is that actually N Xi K G N L so it's the sum over G in the mod combinatorial modular space. So now our Xi Gn are just one, right? So it's just one over the automorphism, the cardinal of the automorphism group of uh, the metric ribbon graph. And basically, it's precisely what no, uh, Paul Norbury in uh, a paper of uh, so in archive, it's, uh, it was released uh, in 2008. So it's uh, Norbury. Uh, so I give you the archive version. It was published, of course, 801, so 12 years ago. So it's just NGN L. And uh, we obtained the Norbury theorem, which, uh, which is basically this formula for NGN L. Uh, so now, so it's the around the end of the talk, and I have a small puzzle for you. So if you want to, <laughs> it will be uh, very easy for you. So the question is, compute with this formula, of course. Compute n zero four of seventy two six four and four. Why this? Well, I will see in a, in a minute. So actually, for uh, n04, just the first sum contributes. And we have on only three terms in the sum. And also, you have to consider that all the numbers here are, are uh, even. And it's, uh, it, it simplifies the, the computation. So now, if you have some guess for this, uh, this number, it's uh, just a uh, number. Uh, normally, it should be a, a rational number, but here it would be an integral. Uh, if you have a guess, then you take this box. Right, you plug uh, you plug it, and so I know the answer, of course. And if you take the answer, it should open. And you can take uh, some bond speciality, which is a MOM, or you can just uh, watch it <laughs> if you just for the pleasure of uh, opening a box. So I'm so and uh, just wait for it for uh, if you want to, to take one. So uh, please the, uh, don't hesitate to take some. Uh, it's really easy to compute, and I, I reached the conclusion. So, actually, we just saw one example of uh, initial uh, 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 data, but uh, we also uh, uh, constructi constructed uh, other amplitudes for uh, combinatorial uh, GR. And uh, in particular, I think that uh, Gaetan will talk about uh, uh, the GR for uh, Maserovich uh, volume and uh, uh, TR for Maserovich volume and, uh, uh, tomorrow, I think. So it will be another application. And uh, also we have, uh, as uh, you know, that the te combinatorial Teshmer space is uh, very similar to the uh, Teshmer space. And uh, actually, we have a flow, as uh, uh, Alessandro told uh, you, uh, from the hyperbolic Teshmer space to uh, to uh, a rescaling flow to the combinator uh, Teshmer uh, space, and this flow uh, commutes basically with the GR. So, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Questions? Few questions? Yes. Well, possibly it's a uh, remark that actually there is a matrix model that uh, produced this. Uh, which is well, we were stupid to call it Kansevich Penner matrix model in '93. So, <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay, so never call models that you invented. So, me, I mean myself and you, Makienka, never call the model you invented by the names of other people. Ah, uh, sorry, okay, <laughs> I didn't know it was uh, not uh, Norbury, okay. No, no, uh, Norbury okay, okay. was okay. independent. Okay, so okay. But 
it was a matrix model that actually, uh, because the very idea was the same to discretize model spaces and to consider the generating function for mm -hmm. the corresponding uh, numbers that are given by this form. 